So guys, just wanted to show you the importance of running ads at the right time. 48 people on the website currently and literally watching the Super Bowl right now. So guys, like I showed you uh, in that sort of screen video capture thing, uh, we had tons of people coming to the website. That was uh, the 60 whatever people that were on there uh, was actually within like five minutes of posting in the ad. So for the day, we ended up having about a thousand visitors at about a 5% conversion rate or so, which obviously is really good. Um, so obviously it was because of the Super Bowl was yesterday. I was taking advantage of that. Um, so. I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually do that for yourself. Obviously not for the Super Bowl, but maybe for an upcoming trend that's coming around the corner, so stay tuned. All right guys, so how do we actually capitalize on trends uh, for 2018 to, uh, to like you know make some money off of it? So number one is you obviously have to identify the trend first. You know, If you don't have the trend identified, then it's gonna be pretty hard to make some money. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can identify the trend. Then number two is we need to identify some t-shirt designs that we can sell, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to find designs so you don't have to design, well, yeah, you don't have to design them from scratch and come up with ideas from scratch. You can actually take ideas from things that are currently working. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how you can do that um, because what I do for, for capitalizing on trends is actually make t-shirts um, with a print-on-demand service like Custom Cat or Printful or there's a bunch of different ones out there, but I use Custom Cat. Um, that you can actually go ahead and and start selling and then number three is um market to the perfect um the perfectly targeted audience i guess okay so um because these are trends we're going to be targeting to a very specific audience people that are already super interested in the topic so they're much more likely to buy um, the highest percentage or the highest uh, conversion rate I've gotten on this before is like 15% conversion rate, which is absolutely ridiculous. And I was getting like a dollar purchases. Um, so I actually, the, the one I ran yesterday was an Instagram ad, so it was a little bit different, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on, on Facebook as well. So let's go ahead and jump in and on exactly how to do, do this. So the first thing we need to do is identify a trend. So what I usually like to do is just go to Google Trends and as you can see, Super Bowl is obviously trending because it's the day after. So if we just scroll down, we can start looking at some of these trends that are going on. Um, so Chelsea Football Club, Indianapolis Colts, um, Han Solo, so this is a Super Bowl commercial. I'm sure Tide is probably trending here somewhere too. Slam Dunk Contest, uh, Lindsey Vaughn, FIFA World Cup, Saturday Night Live. Um, Eagle. Okay, so one thing that I know that's coming up um, that will probably be pretty popular is the Winter Olympics. It's coming up in like a week or two for me filming this video. So let's just uh, go with something like that. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to jump over to Etsy, and this is how I usually like to search for t-shirt designs, is uh, just on Etsy I'll type in like Team USA uh, Olympics shirt, and here we go. Okay, so guys, what I'm looking for in this is actually a few things. Um, I'm looking for obviously a good design, but uh, number two is I'm looking for a lot of reviews. Because if there's a lot of reviews, it means a lot of people bought it, which means a lot of people like the design. So something like this where there's 2,000 reviews, obviously a lot of people like this design. Um, where something like this that has five, yeah, it's an okay design or whatever, but uh, you know, obviously people don't like it as much. So this one is obviously good, so we're going to open this one up. Uh, this one, 625, is pretty good. So usually I'm looking for ones with over like a 500 reviews or so. Um, the more the better, obviously, but yeah. That, and let's see what else we got. Uh, is that one again? All right, is this Wiener Dog? Okay. That's not really Winter Olympics, but, uh, you know, we could capitalize on people that like America and like Dachshunds, like, super easy. Um, but anyways, let's just take, for example... Uh, this one, yeah, yeah. Let's take for example this one. So, um, what you would all all you would have to do is either design one similar to this yourself, or hire a designer and be like, hey, this is sort of what I'm looking. At. This is what I want to say. Just make like a different font or whatever. Uh, you know, you can pay like five bucks, ten bucks, whatever. Hire somebody off Elance, and uh, you know, you'll be good to go. 
So usually you'll find a, a common thread, like there might be a lot of shirts that say USA Drinking Team, but there's different designs that go with that. So um, sort of figure out what design is vibing with people and then kind of base yours off of that. So now that we have this, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and save this. Obviously you're gonna wanna have to use your, your own mockup, but for the example, I'm just gonna use this one. So uh, once you have identified the design and had a designer make it, you're gonna go ahead and download either custom cat print or whatever and make a Shopify store around those products. Um, it's pretty simple. It's like, I'm not gonna do a, a walkthrough on that because uh, this video would be super long and there's a lot of videos walking through how to do print on demand stuff, but it's fairly simple. You just upload a design, pick the color t-shirt you want and you're good to go. So once you have the, the website all set up, we are gonna move on to Facebook. So if you don't already have Facebook, it's business.facebook.com. Make, uh, make your account there and uh, you're, you should be good to go. So uh, I'm not gonna go over, the, this isn't like a basic overview of Facebook. I'm just gonna go over how I would actually market this product. So uh, the first thing that I'm gonna do is create an ad. So we're making one for the USA drinking team, okay? So we're gonna create a new campaign. And by the way, I'm in the power editor. Um, sorry, I didn't go over that. But if uh, you're not in the power editor, just uh, click on these three dots. And if you don't see it here, you can just go to all tools and it's under create and manage. You can go to the power editor. Uh, some people do it in the ads manager as well. I just like doing it in the power editor for whatever reason. Um, but let's go create ad. We're going to create a new campaign and we'll call it USA drinking team. And usually I like to do this on a purchase conversion right away. Um, drop shipping is a little bit different. I have a different strategy for that sometimes, but uh, for these, because the, the traffic is so hot, I usually like to keep it on a purchase conversion like right away. Um, so I'm just gonna copy this and paste it and we're gonna save to draft. Wow, it's super cloudy out there. Um, okay, so get off of this and we're gonna click inside. So this is just the campaign. Now we're gonna click inside and actually edit who is gonna see this campaign, okay? So, and that's exactly what an ad set is. It's, it's the audience that's gonna see it, and then the ad is obviously what they see. So uh, for the USA Drinking Team, let's go ahead and edit it. And the, uh, the first thing we wanna do is change this to a purchase conversion. Now, because this is a test, I don't have um, any purchases actually on it. Uh, so this is just like a test account that I have. Um, but obviously, if he has purchases, it'll be green. So then for daily budget, I usually like to have a minimum of $10 for these because I know that they're probably gonna make at least one sale. Uh, if you wanna get a little bit more um, aggressive with it, you can start at $20 a day as well. Um, I do that sometimes, it just depends on what you wanna do, how big your budget is, how fast you wanna go, because obviously if you're gonna spend more money, you're gonna get results faster and you're gonna figure out what works faster. Um, I always change this one to 12 a.m. Um, for the next day because I want to optimize the amount of time that I can show the ad as opposed to if I start at 3 p.m., then I only have like nine hours to show it as opposed to if I start at 12 a.m., then I have 24. Um, so always make sure you do that. Uh, then uh, because this is Team USA, we're obviously going to want to uh, market to Americans. So people who live in this location uh, and choose the United States. So it's not just people that are there, but people that actually live there that are probably you know United States citizens, I would assume. Um, then for the age and gender, I always like to keep it broad, unless it's very specific to a certain age group or a certain gender. Um, I don't see what the point of telling Facebook who you want to target to is because Facebook is, is pretty smart. They know who, who to send traffic to. So uh, just keep it broad there. Um, and that goes for a lot of things. Uh, like I'd rather keep it broad, like over a million um, whenever possible because I, I wanna give Facebook as much data as I can so that they can sort of sift through it and, and figure out what works the best as opposed to me saying, hey, you need to find these five people and nobody else. Because then it, it's, Facebook just doesn't do their job as well. So uh, yeah. Okay, so in terms of detail targeting, this is where you're actually gonna target the right people. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, is just type in like Team USA. Let's see what we get. Okay, two million, sweet. Um, Let's go to suggestions and see what else we got. Okay, so Winter Olympics, awesome. Winter Olympic Games, um, Olympic Games, NBC Olympics. Okay, so these are all good good options that we can use. They're all, uh, so we got 14 million people. So these are all people that are interested in the Olympics in, in some sort of uh, capacity, which also on the t-shirt, you might wanna have, you know, have some Olympic rings just to kind of bring it together. Um, you know, your choice, however you wanna do it. 
Uh, but then we're going to narrow the audience because these are people that are interested in drinking as well, obviously, because it's the USA drinking team. Uh, so we're going to type in maybe like drinking. Let's see if that's the thing. Yeah, so uh, you can do that and then it's 550,000. So you can make this as an ad set and then make some other ones. Uh, I'm going to show you other examples of things that you could do. So instead of drinking, you might put like types of beer. So maybe like Bud Light. Um, and then we can go to suggestions and, and find like Budweiser, Coors Light, Miller Light, Heineken, Corona. Uh, let's see where we're at. Okay, so we're at 1.6 million now, which is a pretty good size audience to deal with. It's, it's pretty broad, um, which is good. Our reach is uh, 1,300 to 7,900, which is a pretty uh, good amount of people to be able to reach. Pretty broad, which means that we can market to a lot of people. So now that we have our audience in check, um, we are good to go on that front. So I'm going to edit the placements and keep this on all devices. Usually when, I, when I'm just testing, I like to keep it on just the Facebook feed, so that's just this one, and uncheck everybody else. Um, but sometimes I'll do Instagram as well. Um, I just make different ads for Instagram because it's a different platform. You can't have clickable links, things like that. So uh, you're gonna wanna make a different ad for specifically for Instagram if you wanna do that. Um, then we're gonna keep this one on conversions. I usually change this to a one day click just because uh, for shirts, generally people are gonna like see it and buy it on the same day. They're not gonna have to wait and make a buying decision like you would for maybe like a couch that's $3,000 or something like that. So anything that's below like 100, I usually keep it at, at a one day click. Okay, so then you'll probably hit review draft items, but I'm not going to in this case because I'm not gonna run this ad. Um, but then we're going to open this up and edit the actual ad. So now, now we're on the ad level as you can see. So we're gonna hit edit on this. And uh, I guess I'll just use, this is like a super old account that I had um, that I didn't know what I was doing with. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna hit use existing post and we're actually going to um, create a new post which I actually did this before, but the the um, for some reason the camera was not on or was not focusing, whatever. So that's why I'm redoing it. Um, but essentially, you'll just add a photo and video and, and write up your caption. Which I guess I may as well show you this one um, because this was sort of a funny uh, type of shirt. I said, get off the bench and join the USA drinking team today. They need you today only. Get 25% off with free, which I apparently didn't spell right, worldwide shipping. Get yours here and then uh, the link twice and then tag a friend who needs this so they can tag a friend who needs it. Um, but essentially what I'm trying to do is just like drive home the, the funny factor of it. And this is talking to people who obviously drink a lot and also uh, like the Olympics. So it, it kind of fits with the, the whole vibe. Uh, another thing, another group you may want to target is frat boys, uh, people that are involved in maybe frats or sororities. That would be an awesome uh, awesome target market for a product like this. So now that uh, we have that, what, uh, oh, the last thing I want to talk about is today only 25% off with free worldwide shipping. So there's two ways you could do this. Uh, the first way is you could just sell the shirt for like $22.95 or $24.95, whatever, with free shipping, or you could charge shipping. I find conversions a little bit lower when I charge for shipping. Um, but yeah, so you could you could do that, or you can make it maybe $19.95, marked down from $24.95, so it's 25% off, and then charge $4.95 shipping. So you're still making the same amount of money, but the uh, it just feels like it's less to the customer because it's 25% off. So just depending on how you want to run and, and how you want to structure your campaigns uh, will depend on, you know, obviously what your ad copy is. So once we have this all ready to go, you're just going to hit review draft items and you'll be good to go on that ad. So then what I would do is just go to the ad sets and duplicate this a few times and, and just change up the audience. So you might do the frat and sorority one. You might do uh, just like the uh, Team USA with drinking. Um, you know, there's a couple different ad sets and different angles you can hit with a shirt like this, um, which is why I think it's so such, such a good design, okay? So once we have that, we might make a campaign for maybe another shirt or two if you want, or you could just stick with this one, just depending on what your budget is. So that is essentially what you would have to do when you want to capitalize on some trends from 2018. Shouldn't take you guys too long. You can literally set up the website in maybe like three, four hours or something like that and then start running ads literally the same day and start getting purchases. So usually with this, because the traffic is so hot, I'll find that I get purchases within a few hours of starting to run the ads. I'll start at like midnight and then start getting purchases around like 3 a.m. 
which is, is pretty cool. And that's why I like this method so much. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell because you're not really subscribed until you hit that notification bell to be notified as soon as we drop the next video. Also guys, we are at like 1900 subscribers, somewhere around that. So we're almost at 2K subscribers. We might do something special at 2K, so leave me a comment on, on what you think we should do. Uh, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. Thank you for the support. Uh, this channel would not be here without you guys. So thank you so much for, for just like watching the video, sharing with your friends, liking them, all that kind of different stuff. Really, really do appreciate it and just want to tell you guys that. So thank you so much for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment what you want to see, and I will see you guys in the next video. I need you in the morning.